speaking with? Hi, I'm Peggy Snow, and I'm the Youth Service Coordinator here at John Harden High School. And this morning, we are getting ready to receive our Purple Star Award from the U.S. military. So the Purple Star Award it represents that our school has a welcoming, warm environment for all our milita military connected students and families. Students know when they come here and families know when they choose John Harden as a Purple Star School, we're gonna support their students, we're gonna help them transition into the John Harden family and become a successful Bulldog. But also we're gonna help families find resources in the community, we have um, specific resources located on our website, our school website, and families can find that or they can call the Youth Service Center or the school and we'll be able to uh, help them identify what will help their transition into our community. The Purple Star program is a national program and it is set up to make sure that military families know as they move around the country and overseas that we are here to support them and make those uh, transitions successful for them and their students. So we're very excited today to have a couple speakers come down from Fort Knox and be with us and uh, award us this award. And we're very excited that Hardin County Schools as a whole has several Purple Star Schools. So thank you for joining us. All right, you've already made my day because you're here and I appreciate that. Once you, if you come in, go ahead and have a seat. Oh, okay. All right, I'm Miss Snow and I'm the Youth Service Coordinator here at John Harden. I'm also the Purple Star, uh, let's see, Purple Star Award or Program Liaison, which means I'm the connector person who represents our school in connecting with Fort Knox or other military staff, military bases, and here as a connector for our students who have come from other places with their military families. So the Purple Star Award that we're receiving today is because we have been identified as a school that supports and welcomes military families and students. So, I'm tickled you're here, and I want to introduce and get started with our student, Gray Watkins. She's gonna lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hola, would you all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Grazie. Thank you, Greg. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Wells. He's going to lead us today. We are a what? Say it again, we are one. <clears throat> we are a family. We definitely take care of each other. And the Purple Star Award is based on what we do here traditionally anyway. We take care of families, take care of each other. But we want to extend this a little further. We want to take care of our military families as they transition into John Hart. I'm very, very excited about this opportunity and this recognition. And I'm very excited to introduce you to our special guest today. We have Lieutenant Colonel Longboy and Captain Monteset. So I will allow you to go first. And ask you. We're one team, we do it together. We do it together. Come on up. Let's give them a warm welcome to John Hart. Thank you so much, Mr. Wells, and good morning, John Harden High School. How are you all doing today? I'm going to say a saying that my kids say to me, I have a 12 and 13 year old, and when I'm dressed well or I look nice, they say, Mom, you look cold. So, y'all look cold today. <laughs> and not temperature wise. <laughs> he said, no, no. <laughs> well, my name is Manishka Angoy, and I am the Executive Officer to the Garrison Commander at Fort Knox. How many of y'all have been to Fort Knox, Kentucky? All right, awesome. I'm here today with Captain Zoe Montesay Rojas, who's the current commander for our HHD unit. Um, 
We're here today to celebrate and welcome John Harden High School as a member of the Purple Star Award Program. We would like to give a special thanks to your principal, Mr. Mark Wells, your Purple Star liaison, Ms. Peggy Snow, and Dr. Phil Fowler for bringing us one step closer in reaching our goal of creating a statewide network of Purple Star schools. By a show of hands, how many of you have parents or family members who are currently serving or have served in the U.S. military? Awesome, that's a lot, look around, that's a lot. The Purple Star Award is a state-sponsored recognition for individual schools, dedication, and support of military-connected youth. And by a show of hands, all of you are integrated in that network. The program was developed in Ohio in 2018 and is now being impl implemented in 42 states across the nation. In Indiana, Ohio, Virginia, and Tennessee, there are currently 72 Purple Star schools here in the state of Kentucky. The U.S. Department of Defense, the Military Child Education Coalition, and Military Interstate Children's Compact Commission all support this Purple Star Award program. Kentucky is proud to be home to more than 50,000 students in the grades kindergarten all the way through 12th grade whose parents served or served in the military. The children of our service members make significant contributions to the Commonwealth. Your school provides the unique support needed for military service members and their families during all stages of transition, deployment, and military life. Military children face issues such as gaps and overlaps in curriculum, different graduation requirements, and course placement disruption, as well as difficulties related to socially and emotionally connecting with the new school and community. The Purple Star Award helps build resiliency and strengthen protective factors by providing a welcoming and supportive environment for military-connected youth. It helps military youth connect with their peers and increases awareness of the kind of support military-connected youth need when their parents are deployed. So why is it called the Purple Star Award? Purple is the color that represents all branches of service. If you mix the colors of the uniforms of all branches of service, Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Corps Coast Guard, you get the color purple. Students and staff of John Harden High School, congratulations on achieving your Purple Star Award. So give yourself a round of applause. And Mr. Wells, would you have to stand up here? This Kentucky Purple Star Award is presented to John Harden High School in recognition of your commitment to support Kentucky's military-connected youth, fall of 2023. Thank you, sir. Again, students, this is a testament to what you do. We take care of each other. That's our motto. We are a family, and that's what we want to extend and continue to do. If you are not part of the Purple Star Club and you're interested in joining, please be sure to see Ms. Snow. I appreciate her hard work with this program. Uh, I want to thank all of our special guests. Can we give them a round of applause one more time for being here? And I will ask this before we leave today. You're going to stay in here the rest of Focus 40. Before we leave today, if you get a chance, I'd like for you to come up and say thank you. Let them know how much you appreciate their service and for being here today. Okay? One more big round of applause for the Purple Star Club. Thank you. Okay, so what happened here today? Today we had our Purple Star Ceremony. We had our dignitaries from Fort Knox who visited and presented us with our award uh, that officially makes us a Purple Star School. And what does that mean exactly? Purple Star, it, it comes together and allows us and gives us tools and opportunities to help better serve our military families and help their students transition into our school successfully. And there's not really that many schools here in uh, Hardin County that's gotten that. No, we're, we're one of the first ones to do this, so we're very proud of that, and we would encourage all schools to do the same. <laughs>